Oh, the new mini bike smell. Do you think we could get that in a candle? From the box on your back porch to riding it in your backyard in less than an hour, I say that's pretty good. Yeah. You can't you can't beat that. What's up everybody? Today on Cars and Cameras, we're building one of the cheapest brand new mini bikes on the market, the Rascal Light from Go Power Sports. It shares the exact same chassis as the more expensive Rascal, meaning it has really heavy duty tubing uh, for the price point and really nice construction and welds at any price point in the mini bike market. Comes with the 98cc overhead valve, three and a half horsepower engine. We really like this thing on our world's smallest go-kart. We can't wait to see what it does in a mini bike. Comes with V-tread tires, a cable brake, basically all the parts you need to get on the trails for as little money as possible. So in today's episode, we're gonna assemble the Rascal Lights, take it for a hot lap, let you know our impressions, and then go for a group hot lap with some other mini bikes we have uh, of a similar performance, just to have some fun. It is an assemble it yourself kit, so it's always a good idea once you get it out of the box to just go over the frame and kind of feel out any imperfections, burrs, sharp spots in the chassis and either use a punch to deburr it or a, a sandpaper. Yeah, sandpaper, angle grinder, anything you need to just smooth anything out. This one in particular was pretty nice. We had five minutes of total going right. over If it. even. Yeah. So now we're going to test assemble it, make sure everything fits, and then uh, go on to painting. We'll be riding in no time. So Charles and I have never put one of these rascal lights together. And since we got to test fit this thing to make sure everything goes together correctly before painting it, we thought we'd kind of time ourselves. Yeah, and see how fast we can do it. Ready, exactly. set, go. Oh, God. All right. oh, why, why am I speeding? I don't need to speed. You should. I just need to. You should. What? You're, you're getting paid. We're going to lose the shop. Oh, you're getting paid by the hour. If we're going to lose the shop, I need to go ahead and speed up. Now, I will say, Ike's doing the engine first, yeah. and you don't have to, you know, repeat our process. You might want to do it different. Um, for some reason in my head, put the I, was, on I was thinking we were going to make it a roller first yeah. and then put the engine on, but I'm not going to stop him. He's got an engine. I'm in. already yeah, dedicated he's going, here, so. buddy. Look, doesn't it look better already? It looks like we made a lot of progress in a very short time. These bushings are going to be a tight fit in these holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of clean up these holes some with like, I don't know. Dremel, sandpaper. Dremel, sandpaper, something. I like to take the bushing and I put it on the bolt and I use the bolt to drive it in. Alright, I do I do like that method because it's a good way to hammer the bronze bushing in straight and the hammer is gonna be too hard. You're gonna you're gonna mushroom it. Hammer it in and then the bolt won't go in. So that's a good way to do it. I'm going to put the tire on first. We gotta make sure that the tread is going the correct way for the steering. We have these washers that we're gonna use as spacers between the forks to the rim. Four washers on one side, and most likely four washers on the other side. Cool, same deal back here. Got three washers for each side, and then a good, uh, I'd say a one inch shim. I'm leaving it loose back here, because for, for chain alignment for the clutch, and making sure that the brake is centered on here. Now, if this was truly a race, I feel like if we were really dedicated, we would probably be about five minutes from being done. I'm not kidding. If it was a real race. Dude, that would be kind of fun. New Mini Mayhem event. How fast can you put together a bike? I guess it's going to fall. All right, so I did subtract two washers, one on each side. And that allows me to tighten up the axle for the the locking nut. That's probably one of my favorite things that Go Power Sports offers is that the the crush sleeve with the dual bearing chain roller 
That was that's a game changer for the mini bike world for sure. Oop, look at that. No, oh, I don't think that's gonna work. There we go, look at that. I've always right. liked the look of these handlebars. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty cool. And we're done. Rough assembly. Rough assembly. Minus a few things because we need to paint it still. Almost 36 minutes. I think we can oh. get it under 30 if we want. Oh, I to. definitely. We were definitely kind of, yeah, can we get it under 30. We were just kind of we were enjoying ourselves messing around, time. fooling around and stuff. It, you know, it, <laughs> having a laugh. Uh, but hey man, I really like this uh, Rascal Light. This is this is pretty cool. So the boys got the Rascal Light assembled in just under 36 minutes and we learned a few things. We learned that just like the original Shelby Cobra and the new Nissan Z the Rascal Light is a parts bin special. It uses a seat from this bike, wheels and tires from another bike, a brake from a different bike, and an engine from a different bike as well. So there were a few small modifications we had to make uh, to have this thing go together. One being we had to drill out the holes for our um, handlebar clamps, no big deal. The second is that uh, only one of the seat bolts lines up, so you can either buy a different seat that comes on the regular Rascal in addition to this kit, I'll link one in the description, or you can make something work by welding in something for two other, uh, like weld something on the frame to make the seat fit. Other than that, it's good to go. I mean, 500 bucks gets you a running and riding mini bike. So now that it's passed our assembly test, we can take it all apart, brake clean it, and get to painting. The clear coat on our Rascal Light looks beautiful. It looks incredible and we're just about ready for assembly. Starting today, we're giving away a brand new Rascal Light kit and $500 cash. So every order placed on our website, cars-cameras.com, gets you automatically entered to win. It gets you a brand new Rascal Light mini bike kit shipped to your door and $500 cash so you can paint it any way you want it. You can upgrade the wheels. You could even get a pretty built Tillotson 212 upgrade with that 500 bucks. So you can read the full rules on our website, cars-cameras.com, uh, and pick up some of our new merch. We have a brand new splatter paint hat uh, that's based off of our brand new, uh, very popular Send It shirt. So if you haven't picked up one of our brand new shirts, now is a great time. It is super comfortable. It's very premium feeling, light, and it's been very popular so far. It would also be a great time to pick up our new sticker pack 2.0 of some of our favorite sayings uh, and logos that we like to slap on our vehicles. So head on over to cars-cameras.com, pick up some high quality merchandise, help support some of your favorite YouTubers, and uh, get automatically entered to win a really awesome value mini bike and 500 bucks cash to upgrade it however you want. So we're gonna start with the wheels this time because I think a rolling chassis might be easier to start with. Man, that's some low bars, man. You can ride it like bike. that? Drag bike. Take that to uh, the salt flats. The bike comes with spacers and you're gonna to have to stack the spacers in such a way that the sprocket lines up with the sprocket on the clutch and also we gotta make sure that the uh, brake caliper fits. So there might be a few times you're pulling this wheel off and readjusting these shims yep. to get that perfect spot. And that's another reason why you want to assemble, Where'd the test assemble. And you got to pick the right axle. 
Man, that looks good. I think we're going to be pleasantly surprised by the performance of this thing. I think we are too. I was pleasantly surprised with the uh, little uh, micro uh, go kart we made with these uh, engines. The thing moved out pretty good. It it back flipped me off of it. Like it with one wheel, it it flipped. So clean. It is. Don't forget your foot grip now. Mike's nice. so nice, I propose a toast from Chuck. He's not here right now, but I'm speaking for him. And don't worry, it's Arizona tea. <laughs> so in this application, all we needed was the spacers provided on this to put the wheel in. Uh, everything lined up fantastic. So our favorite sponsor. If it weren't for them, we wouldn't have this build. And then, of course, we got to add our own sticker to it because you know what it'll be fine how's that look looks awesome yes it does Whoa. hey this isn't that bad oh it's pretty light it's the 98 fellers <laughs> nope it's no pun light. intended so we have the regular rascal with the Predator 212 on the front suspension and the really nice uh, car V tires. And then we have a vintage mini bike that Charles hopes to blow up. So. <laughs> I don't want to, but it might. He said something about sending the rod through the block. So you felt you guys might be in for a real show. It's, it's not knocking, so. No, no, no it's gonna really mess up. So we're gonna see what Ike thinks of the Rascal Light, and then we're gonna go on a group hot lap between the Rascal Light. The regular rascal with the front end, the tillets in 212, and then the uh, vintage Sears Roper here. One, one, one pull? Uh, one pull. Two. I say three. I'm not doubting it. One, two, three. One. Ah! Yeah, me, me and the engine had a conversation before we started up. Hey, it's it's just, got a nice tone. It does, yeah. Alright, maybe we hooked up the throttle cable wrong. No, no. Maybe it's just cold. Cold nature. Turns out that uh, I've been riding around with the fuel pet cock in the off position. And I think it was just residual in the carburetor from them running it at the factory to test it. So let's try it again, shall we? Mini bike smell. Do you think we could get that in a candle? I or an think air freshener? We, can. we ought yeah. to look into that. So we're going to be taking this thing for a spin. It's a little hard to judge how this thing's going to ride out here. So let's take it out there. I'm guessing it's going to be uh, pretty fast for a governed engine at 25 miles per hour. All right. What do y'all think? I think it's right around that ballpark. Let's say 27. Oh man. Let's go. One mile per hour, Bob. No race bike. No, but from the box on your back porch to riding it in your backyard in less than an hour, I say that's pretty good. Yeah. You can't you can't beat that. Dude, I, I think I really like this thing. Looks like it rides good. It rides really good. Okay, so let me check the top speed. Uh, so I'm gonna ride down the road and ride back. So I'll see you guys in about 30 seconds.
Mr. Governor. You know what? It's probably about 20 miles per hour. brakes are adequate I don't know if they uh, will uh, overheat but right now they're doing pretty good Woo! It, it accelerates really well and then all of a sudden the governor kicks in and it like I mean dude, it's, it's almost like hitting the brakes it's 22.5 hey not bad not bad at all you know Sweet. this thing probably will have a good easy 30 mile per hour top speed with the governor eliminated so we're doing a group hot lap around the cars and cameras grand prix and this is the competition for the rascal light ike is going to be riding the standard rascal so it's the exact same chassis and handlebars as the rascal light but it has a premium hydraulic brake, premium off-road tires, premium suspension front end, and a Tillotson 212. So I'm interested to see the performance difference between the Rascal Light and the standard Rascal with all the upgrades. Meanwhile, Charles has got to represent the vintage class with the Sears Roper and the Tecumseh HS40 four horse. It might be making four horse today, I don't know. So we're gonna get suited up and uh, go have some fun. You know the deal. Have fun, don't get hurt. Okay. We gotta right. come back and do this Monday. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, I am so confident in the performance of this bike. You haven't even started your bike. I don't care. I'm gonna give you boys a head start. Okay. Okay. Judging by what I'm holding in my left hand, I need a head start. All right. How much do you want, boys want? Like first, first uh, corner. First corner. Know. First this, corner. This thing hasn't ran in like four months, so give me a break. Oh. You're getting worried. Yeah. We're in trouble. It's already feel, faster. I feel a little better. No brakes though. Oh, the engine dies, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, he's gonna have the top end though. Yeah, the, the, the hill climb. The hill climb is where he's gonna get us. You boys ready? I am so cocky, I'm gonna give him two, turn two before I go. Sure. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah, I guess so. Ready? Yep. Go. They're on turn two. Here I go. You know, giving them turn two might have been a mistake. I'm not slowing down for this turn. The brakes work good. Uh oh, I was later down. Woo! Oh, there's Chuck. Oh, it's still got the governor in it. Oh no!
Oh, that was a huge mistake. <laughs> Dude, you just gave us way too much head start. I did, because when the governor kicked in on this thing, it was like hitting the brakes. Oh, I completely forgot about the governor on it. Got oh. him. I hear right. okay. Barasco Light 1. Y'all want to try again? Yeah, uh, let me just do a little governor work on this thing. And to make it fair, we can do some governor work on that. Awesome. And run it again. So somehow the Rascal Light won the first race, even though it has half the CCs as the other bikes. But we're doing some governor work now, and I just uh, I just did mine, and these boys are in trouble because the top speed is so much faster. This might be like the most fun you can have on a new mini bike for like 500 bucks for the least amount of money. It is so much fun. <laughs> You want him to go first? Yeah. All right. You ready? I'm ready. I gave him a little bit of a head start. Buddy. I knew it would just come down to defense. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> that was a good job. Um, that thing's really fast, but it didn't have the grunt. To no, get it ahead. didn't have the torque. Yep, and that's what the displacement gets you. Um, do you think it has the same top speed? Yeah, it'd be similar. Like down the hill at the bottom of the hill, we were going the same speed. Yeah, I it, thought so. so. Yeah. Right, dude? yeah, the torque burr ate my shoestring. Uh oh, <laughs> oh my God. That's all right, though. Dude, I hit something really bad. Really? Yeah, I don't know what it was. You almost hey. laid her down and turned yeah. around, dude. Yeah, but I hit some. I bottomed out something on the frame. I think I hit the rotor. Kind of bummed out about that, but that's okay. So I I feel like these are pretty close, especially when you uh, get rid of the governor. Oh, yeah. Um, but this 212 just has the It's got the torque. torque. And you got the tires. Yeah, I do have better tires than what you have. Were you sliding that thing around the corner? Yeah. I thought so. You were letting her hang loose, buddy. I, I, I'm fully geared up. I didn't. I wanted to give it a best run. Yeah, yeah. You know what, guys? What? I want to see what the top speed is. Now. Now that the governor's bypassed. Go for it. Okay. I'm curious. I mean, what was it, 22 before? Yeah. 22. 22.2. 22 Should the same person ride it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, unless John really. I kind of want to ride it. It's he wants to feel right, Go for it. You want both of us go to the top of the hill and we both go down at the same oh, time? Yeah. Sure, sure. You Sounds good. Too? Yes. Twist my arm. Group top speed run. This sounds pretty good. Group hospital trip. <laughs> Seven miles an hour. So am I going over there? I'll start from here. You got the torque. You're fine. All right. Charles, he's the last car. Oh! 
that's why. Look at that. Look at that front wheel. It'll be alright. Glad you decided to stay on your side of the road. What was the top speed, sir? I think I'm gonna retire this bike. That's fair. What happened? I don't know. I got something going on with the front end. Like the, the front wheel is. Yeah, the bearings are gone or something. I they think are the bearings... gone, gone. Oh or... yeah, the, oh, they used the bearing as a spacer and it's the wrong bearing. Uh. So group hot lap. Uh, the only casualty was the old uh, the Sears. Wow. Yeah, but I think that was bad. Um, we didn't notice how this was rigged and I just kept riding it. I mean, like, look, it needs it needs some front end attention and good thing I got friends that go power sports. Yeah, honestly, like, you get that done I in 30 have, minutes. Are you missing one of the fender? Yeah, it's not the right style. I need to make the bracket. Like, so, so is that fender what I know only held on by one yeah. bracket? So what I've noticed is I've got another front suspension bike. I can tell that these forks have been ripped off and re-welded onto here. So the bracket that held the original fender is gone. There's no telling what happened to so it. Is it only held on by one bracket? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, look at it. It's still there. All right. Do you want to guess what the D governed top speed was? 32. 35. Really? Yeah. Holy cow. This that's, thing that's freaking really, moves. That's really surprising. Yeah. So this thing probably did 38. Yep. Seems about right. Yeah. You cruise right on by. Yeah. Man, it's a lot of fun. And you know, like these tires aren't great if you're going fast, but for the amount of power that it has, it's perfect. It's it's the turns that those pro tires have a problem with. Yeah. Going around corners. Uh straight line, they're great, but uh turns not so good. If you're going really fast with yeah. a lot of power. Yeah. If you have not a lot of power, it's no big deal. That thing really surprised me. Yeah. It really did. And if you put a taller or a shorter rear gear on it, you'd get a little less top speed, but you get a lot more acceleration. We made a video on Charles's Roper here. <laughs> and the <laughs> show them the reason you had to have this bike. Because look at this hole that was in the engine plate. I want, I want to know the story behind that, like completely. Like, did he shoot the bike? Because there's no way you got a hammer in here and swung with this distance and, and then the plate still be flat. So if anybody has an idea of what happened, let me know, because there's no way that the rotating assembly yeah. would have had enough force to go through the bottom of the block and rip through, what, like eighth inch steel? He, so He probably blew up the motor, and got then mad, shot it. broke out his 30-06, and uh, went to town on it. Yeah. It's all right. I still got the bike and a really cool story that I can make up the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I really love the bike. I feel like it's a perfect first-time project first project between father and son or father and daughter or mother and son or mother and daughter it's a perfect platform that you can grow into as well because a larger engine will fit on it and it's just a awesome bike yeah I love it. it's comfortable it's comfortable for an adult i mean like literally that is the same chassis yeah, i'm six uh, one I'm, yeah six one yeah i can turn both ways so and that's why the high-rise handlebars are such key yeah and you can buy you uh some uh a Springer front end for it. This will bolt on to that bike because uh, they are identical bikes. Well, the Roper needs a little bit of TLC, but uh, these two bikes handled fantastic. And like, you just, you can't have more fun than just riding a mini bike in the evening with your best buds. I mean, uh, and the Rascal Light is the perfect bike to do it on as well. Uh, for brand new, for around the $500 mark, you can't beat it either. Uh, the 98cc, don't overlook it. I mean, if you weigh much more than 200 pounds, it's gonna be a little slow. 
but it has potential. We could re-gear it and probably get a lot more acceleration out of it. And 35 miles an hour is not bad. So I put a link to the Rascal Light Kit in the description down below if you want to check it out for yourself. And it's, it's an awesome bike and the value is seriously there. Um, it, and it gives you plenty of room to grow. And I think the video speaks for itself here. So you can check it out at a link in the description. Also, don't forget, we're doing a giveaway of a Rascal Light Kit and $500 cash so any item of merchandise you buy on our website cars-cameras.com gets you automatically entered to win you can read all the rules on the website but that's it for this time guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time yeah my, my personal thoughts on the frame is that the initial investment is over with once you get it because then from there you just upgrade it and you've got a really awesome bike. wow what is it oh this is up a lot Come on, baby, come on. Ah, he's gone. There goes Charles. <laughs>